One of the things that we're looking at um, begins with just acoustics. As you can see behind me, everything is taken out. So we have to figure out a way to create an environment where um, world-class organs will sound fantastic and yet the spoken word still can be perceived and how to make the balance between those two things. We have liturgical needs, we have concert needs, and those concert needs are orchestral and they're also for solo repertoire. So we did an extensive amount of acoustical testing of the space. We had um, a whole apparatus up there going all the way up to the very top. The instrument that we're looking at has a total of about 8,000 pipes. And so there's about 6,000 pipes back there. But to give a feeling of warmth and roundness, there's another 2,000 that'll be up in front. We get this great partnership between Manuel Rosales and uh, the Gladder Getz Organ Company. And uh, their work together is most prominently known in the incredible instrument for Disney Hall. So the usual process with um, a new organ is for it actually to be completely installed in a factory setting. And then there's often an open house, right, where you go and, and you play it and you're introduced to it and you see how everything works. Then um, the thing gets taken all apart, put into crates and shipped over here. And then it gets reinstalled in the proper spaces. I think it's safe to say that we're going to have an organ that's totally, totally new, that is going to speak into the room the way an instrument should speak into this room. The gift that we're giving to the musicians and worshipers and audience members of New York City is substantial, and it's gonna be a major statement.